Hello everyone, Kylie Vitucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia here with you. No longer in the Philippines, I'm in my craft room. And for the first time, we are going to be crafting together. Yes, first time in six months. So we'll see who jumps in. I've got some really cool ideas. Hi, Jessie. Hello, Tanya. So I, I've been pulling out all of this amazing product that I haven't got to play with yet. It's a tad overwhelming. I'm sure some of you know how that feels when you just are like, I don't even know where to begin with all these new goodies. So I decided to just take it easy, make it really simple, and I pulled out the Memories of More kit. Now I'm seeing that the comments, oh good, comments are coming through. I did turn my phone off and on because it's always the best way to make sure <laughs> the comments come through. I'm very good, Alia. Good to see you too. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Lisa. Lisa got here. Doctor's orders. Even Jessie Scott, the best assistant in the world. Hashtag best assistant ever. Um, so yeah, I've decided to make it really simple and not get too overwhelmed with the stamp sets. And I love that um, I'm sort of seeing this from say a newbie's eyes when they get that first catalogue and they're like, where do I begin? I don't know where to start. There's so many nice goodies in here. Um, thank you so much, Gwendolyn. It's nice to be back. So I thought that I would play with one of my favourite things other than hashtag love it, chop it, uh, is the Memories of More set. And I haven't got to play with it a lot and I haven't really seen a lot of people playing with it. Do some of you struggle with the Memories of More or have you not purchased it or not got the Celebration Memories of More? Yay, I'm happy you're here, Tanya. Hey, Anne. Kathy, hello. Because the Memories and More are fantastic, not only for doing your scrapbooking and, and memory keeping, but also for card making. And I saw these brand new cards that have come out with the Celebration Kit. And what I love that Stampin' Up! have done this time is the fact that it actually coordinates with some of the stamp sets, the Cake Soiree in the Occasions catalogue. And the colouring is just gorgeous. No worries, Rosalie. I just started, so good timing. So I have some of the cards here. I actually separated them. And this is what I found easier for me. And this is my tips tip for you. So you have the larger set here, so the larger size, and again they're fantastic for card making. They're really beautiful designs, like you could just have that literally on the front, oh, probably the right way around would help. And yes, I agree Jessie, they are very much your colours actually, all the rich Raza and the, um, what's the other one, Berry Burst is beautiful as well. But I really love these smaller ones, and I thought I'll have a play with these. And what I did is I separated them into two piles. So ones are predominantly solid colours with solid patterns, and ones that I could actually see being used on a handmade card. Hi, Anne-Marie. Nice, from Quebec. Yes, it's good to see you live, Marion. So nice. But these ones here, I decided they're a little bit sparse, Oh, how nice. The Super Bowl and Kylie. But these ones I'm actually using to put in with, say, um, I'm sending a little gift to my team or to a customer. I've got the Stampin' Blends Club that I'm running. And so I've just put in here, you know, enjoy your blends or, um, you know, thanks for, here's a little gift that you've won for a draw or anything like that. Something very simple that they're not expecting a handmade card all the time, but I don't want to just send something without a gift. I've got the Bow Easies that are selling and that's just something like all that I put in with the Bowies is a little handmade, uh, handwritten note saying thanks for purchasing the Bowiesy, and that just goes in there. And it doesn't matter that the back is something different. I think it's really nice that you've just got something in there that's super quick, super easy, but looks beautiful. So it's like Stampin' Up! have taken a lot of the hard work away from us. If you don't send things because you feel like you have to always have a handmade card, it's not the case. Sometimes there's times where you just don't have time, and this is much better than nothing at all. 
right? Or not sending it and procrastinating. So that's what I feel is really good anyway. So I've got a few of these that I've kept aside. Like this one's super cute, like just writing a little note. Yes, you do need a bow easy, Lisa. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> They're really good. There we go. So yeah, some really sweet ones that are good for note notes. So I separated them and separated the pattern ones. So what have I done with pattern ones so far? We're going to do a card together. There's so many. It's so true, Jesse. I'm going to do like a whole, like, like a, a themed um, memories and more little kit with it. You know, like how I do my stack, stamper stack. Well, this is like memories and more stack. So all the cards that you can make using just the cards from the memories and more kit. So Oh, he's so cute, Chrissy. I did see that it was your hubby, Dave. So I put your name because <laughs> I figured it was for you. I didn't think David suddenly got into crafting. I think Bruno's my my only one that's into craft <laughs> crafting, the only hubby in the world. But this one is one of the cards that come in the pack. So can you see what I've done there? I've just layered it, made it look like it's a standalone little sentiment. Literally, no stamping. I just stuck the card down. Ah, oh, thanks for all the hearts. They're beautiful. <laughs> and I'm even more excited because I use some Baker's Twine. I use the old olive Baker's Twine, which is perfect with these colors because we've got Marina Mist, Old Olive, and the Berry Burst in this one. So how long has it been since you've used Marina Mist? I was really excited to see these cards because it got me pulling out my Marina Mist. I don't know how many years it has been since I've used it. But what a cool colour combo. I really, really love it. And there's a lot of different things that you could use this for. Like I thought of wedding, but there's a lot of things where you can have a day to remember. So, yeah, super easy. I reckon this would be um, a really good one to do even for like a workshop or for someone if you wanted to show them how easy it is to get going. And because it's one of the celebration freebies, it's a great way to try out the Memories of More cards and just see what it's like to play with it, whether you have a, a good time using them. Um, and you can use it for the uh, memory keeping as well. It doesn't just have to be cards. But I personally, I love it for the card making as well. Now, this is another one that I've done. I'm ready for this one, Jessie. I think these are all your colours. Oh, happiness right here. Like right here, right now. So again, I've used the Baker's Twine in the Old Olive. And I've used this really beautiful embossing folder. It's a newbie, so I, the name of it has completely left me. Oh, don't you love it when it's in the right spot? And it has the name. <laughs> so here it is here, Petal Pear. This one here. So just along the side, I've used that and then just done the, um, yes, embossing as well. So I use my little strip, which is very handy because I could just sort of come in there and um, emboss that little edge. So I just put it in there and it did the little edge for me. Oh, genius. Don't you love that? So I really enjoyed making that one. That's the Petal Pear Textured Im Impressions. Hey, Sarah, good to see you. I'm doing uh, Memories and More cards. And you ready for the inside? Oh, good, Carolyn. Good to see you here. Ooh. So I just did along the edge, and then I sponged it in the powder pink, just with my little daubers, my sponge daubers. And that's the beautiful inside. And, of course, I've mounted it because I knew it would make Bruno proud. So I've used – actually, it's not even vellum, Jessie. This is the beauty about these – cards and there's two of them it literally comes like that I don't even have to stamp nothing I just put it on stuck it on just like that that's how easy it is so you can't say to me oh look what I just found <laughs> can anyone see what it is I might just leave that there actually it's a pearl <laughs> there's a nice pearl on my new new nails <laughs> Yes, I know, Jessie. Mind blown, right? No stamping, just sticking, just gluing. And I used the powder pink and flirty. Flirty flamingo. Oh, 
all these names. I'm like, is that right? I keep second guessing myself. <laughs> so yes, that's very true, Sarah. So what I'm going to do today, because the Sweet Soiree, I don't know, they do pay a lot of money for that, but you get it as a freebie, the celebration cards. So this is how they come, just like this. And you think, uh, oh, a bit underwhelming. However, you get, so they're all four by six inches or 10.2 10 by 15.2 centimeters, the big ones. Um, but you get in this card kit, what does it have here? It includes 72 double-sided cards. So you get the larger ones, there's 26 designs and you get two of each. And then the um, small ones, they're two of each 10 designs. So you get 20 of those. So it's a really good value because you could make, literally you could make that many cards, 72 cards. So it's the same as when I do the Love It, Chop It. You do 72 cards out of that from a, a, a front of paper. But in this way, you can just use, use it like this. Yeah, just do a little frame. So we're gonna make one today. How does that sound? And the one that I that stood out to me, don't fall off your chairs, people. I'm using pink. I think this is flirty, but I'm going to use the powder pink as the background. Flirty Flamingo here. So that one just stood out as a really pretty. So I'm going to have to make my own sentiment with this one. I'm going to have to actually do some stamping, but that's okay. We're, we're, I'm like in the groove now. I've done some that didn't require any stamping. So let's flip you around. Let's see how I am with flipping around. <laughs> <laughs> Everything feels so bizarre and new and like random. Do you see my new Crafty Kylie sign? I got that last night. Do you know where I went, Jesse? Bruno and I were like, we have to go. It was like our first thing to do when we got back. It won't take Jesse long. I'm sure she'll answer in a moment. Where did we go shopping? <laughs> I think some of you can guess where that's from. <laughs> yes, Kmart. Bruno told me, did you go to Kmart? Because I went to the shopping centre. Yeah, Lisa's onto it too. <laughs> Carolyn, we're all addicted to Kmart. It's like the best shop ever. And so he's like, did you go to Kmart? And I go, no, I didn't. He goes, good, because you'd be dead to me if you did. I was like... Okay, okay, Mafia. I didn't go to Kmart. I promise I'm waiting for you. <laughs> oh, Rick's here as well. Hi, Renee. All right, let's do a flippity flip. Here we go. I've even forgotten how to do this. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, what am I even doing? Okay, I'm tapping on the screen. Oh, there, there. Okay. So, yay! And then turn you around and I've actually I'm excited because I've actually put you oh am I gonna be able to do this yes oh thanks Rick I've missed all of you it's been really sad not seeing everyone but it's really exciting to see everyone now it makes it worthwhile you'd be sick of me if I didn't um, go away you'd be like oh whatever Kylie's live again Okay, I think we've got it. Oh, there's a bit of light here though. I've got you on a different desk because I wanted to have you on a separate desk, but that light is going to be very annoying to me. I'm going to have to tape that. That'll be my next job. So bear with me today with the shadows. And I think I'll bring you down a bit more actually because it's a bit high up. I don't like it when I can't see the project clearly. Oh, I missed you guys too. Thank you so much for your support. I tell you what, I got so much love. I was like expecting to everyone to just go, whatever, Kylie's gone, goodbye. <laughs> but everyone was like, when are you coming back? Which was very sweet. So I'll bring it up closer anyway, and we'll work out how to get this all happening again. Oh, am I bringing it down? Yes, here we go. Sorry to give you motion sickness here. Okay. Oh, the doggies were so excited. However, they're a little bit out of sorts because I think 
I think six months with Bruno's mum and dad made them quite attached. So Bella in particular is a little bit sad. I think she's missing Jeanette, Bruno's mum, which is really quite cute. We rang mum to let her know and she was like, oh, that's so cute. Either that or the amazing food that mum makes because I think she was making them like dog pancakes and all sorts of yummy stuff. So, powder pink. I am going to have fun stamping. Oh, you got to go back to work, Jessie. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow for the fun job. This is this is Jessie's other job. She's got two jobs. She's in carpet cleaning. She's a hard worker, that girl. So I'm going to cut this down. I'm just going to do like a backing. So this card size here in inches is 3 by 4, the smaller ones, or 10.6 by 8 centimetres. No, sorry, 7.6 by 10.2. I just measured it. So I'm just going to do like 3, no, 4 millimetres um, around the edge. So there'll be 2 millimetres on each side. So I'm cutting it down to 7.6 by 8. So I'll do it that way. Will that do 7.6? Yep. Oh no, it's 10.6. Will that do 10.6? Look at me talking to myself already. Yes. Okay, so I'm always trying to work out the best. Do you guys do that? Working out the best way to get the most out of the paper? So you're not left with just silly scraps, but actually useful scraps. And then 10.6. And if you don't do it, shame on you. Don't waste your paper. Kidding. <laughs> do what you like. <laughs> I'm not invested that much. <laughs> Hi, Angie. So that's just going to be the little back there that I'm going to do. I'm vibing in the middle, but we shall see how this progresses. And then I'm thinking in a stamp in the background. And what is going to be nice with this one is the fact that we have the cake soiree stamp set that actually coordinates with these Memories and More cards. So that's what I love that Stampin' Up! have actually used a stamp set from the Occasions catalogue to go with this. So I'm pretty sure that if you order the Cake Soiree stamp set, so the stamp set $61, so then you'd only need to spend another $30 more and you'd get the cards for free. So that's a little idea. So you could probably get some of the narrow cards or something like that. They're about $14. And maybe some ink, like powder pink or some cardstock or something. And then you'd have yourself a freebie. Just like that. So I'm going to save this piece of cardstock for the inside. Now, I think the sentiment we're going to do along the side here. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Because I don't know about you guys, but do you struggle? I've literally just got my hands on the brand new Stamparatus which I am thrilled to pieces about. But one thing that I have struggled with, and tell me if I'm the only one, I could be completely on my own here, but the sentiments. So say for instance, I want to, I want to put the celebration stamp set here, Amazing You, and I'm going to do, oh, did I flip you back again? Sorry, let me see here. I want it around the right way. I didn't realize that it flipped. There we go. Probably when I turned you around, it went the other way. Good, back again. Yes, it's gorgeous, the cake soiree. I agree, Sarah. So I find stamping sentiments, like without the stamp and majig, I always found the stamp and majig very easy and convenient for me when doing sentiments, particularly with rubber. So I came up with a little idea that could be ridiculous. But anyway, it worked for me and it may work for you. I, it could be a stroke of genius. Someone could have done this. I literally have not had time to even look at what other people have been doing because we've been so crazy busy. But what I did was I brought this sort of to the middle because it doesn't matter where I put this. But actually the first one I stamped. Now I'm going to use the basic grey. I know because I love the pink with the grey. It's probably one of my favorite combos. So I'm using the basic gray archival and I'm going to first stamp the amazing. 
So I sort of lined up where I wanted it, but I find it really hard to get it spot on to where I want it. So I thought I'll just sort of stamp it wherever, this first one. It, I don't even need to use the um, stamp -a jig for this. Because more than likely, knowing Kylie, I'm seriously going to stamp it crooked anyway. Because you think you know where you're lining it up. But I'm just going to sort of do it in the middle here. Can everyone see? Sorry, I'm not even checking. How naughty. So I'll stamp that again. Because, yeah, I just found it a little bit tricky. It's actually not too bad. Uh, so then I want to come in with the You Are Simply Amazing. So I've got these extra ones here. Now, if I just line this up here, I have no clue if that's going to be straight. In fact, more than likely it won't be straight. So I don't trust myself whatsoever to just eyeball this. So what I decided to do was get the Stampin' Bajig little plastic, line that up in the corner, and I'll just do it where there's not so much. I'm so naughty, look at me, still haven't washed it all. And I just kind of gauged where I thought would be good. And you'll see when I use this that I'm probably nowhere near where I need to be. But what I can do is just sort of move my paper afterwards. So I just stamp that. And as you can see, I would have been completely off cue would have been crazy. I would have been really cut with that. So I'm not going to move my Stampin' Magic piece. I'm just going to use move my paper underneath. So I just sort of shuffled that around to where I want it to look on here. And there's probably no way that I would place it where it is. So I just put my little magnet, if I want to use my magnet. I, don't, I didn't pull my magnet out. It's on the back of my... But I'll just hold that in place. I know some of you are like, Kylie, what are you doing? But it stays still, as long as you don't wobble it too much. And then came in with this. And, like, I would never put it there. I'd be like, I'm covering it. It's a wrong place. But voila. I don't know if you're all laughing at me or whether you think this is a good idea. But anyway, <laughs> I'm trying it. And then again, I'll do the same thing with the U. So I wanted it about the middle. But what I'll do, yep, that looks about good there. I mean, it won't be, but it just gives me an estimate of where I want to go. And if you wanted to, you could do this in like Flirty Flamingo if you really wanted the U to pop out. So I'll stamp that, and of course, that'll be like way off. So again, just shuffle my cardstock around a bit, keeping this stamp -a jig the plastic piece in the corner. You don't want to move that because that's telling you where it's going to line up. So that looks good to me there. And then I just move the plastic out of the way, hold my piece of paper, make sure it doesn't move, and then come in with the U. Look, it works for me. For some people, it may not. But I really liked that idea for my lining up the words. And then they sort of went where I wanted them to go then. I don't know. I don't know if there's anyone else that's had challenges with it. But this is the way I have worked around it. And I like. I feel like it's a little bit more simple than trying to explain the stamp magic But it's just keeping that plastic in the middle and having enough like room for movement. I found stamping in the middle was easier. First time I sort of kept both of them in the middle and then I couldn't move my cardstock anywhere. So by putting your cardstock in the middle, stamping in the middle, it gives you room to move it around where you need to. Good. I'm glad you liked that idea. I mean, that's just a solution I came up with when I was thinking, how am I going to use the Stamparatus for this? Because I really want to make the most of this tool because it really is incredible and for me that felt easier than using my stamp -a jig because I know a lot of people yeah totally use a window sheet yeah if you don't have the stamp -a jig I mean I love this this plastic um there's something about it that's quite porous and you know that it's not going to smudge too bad like it still smudges but it just sort of um holds the ink 
really well. Um, but yeah, you could use a window sheet. I mean, Stamp Stampin' Up! still have the Stampin' Majig for now, so you could still get it for that. So there's that. Now I'm going to cut this down. We'll get my trimmer out. Oh, the trimmer. It's the small things that I'm loving again. So I'm going to cut this down and make it the same size as this across here. So I think first I'll do the cutting this way just to make sure it's all lined up and even and because sometimes we're stamping you. You don't necessarily do it perfectly even. So I'm thinking about eight centimeters. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room on each side. Actually, what I could do is do it close to the edge. Yeah, I'll do that. So there. Look at me talking to myself. You can tell I'm crafting on the spot. Don't you love arch archival? If this wasn't archival, I would have stuck my hand in this by now and put ink everywhere. So I'm doing eight centimeters. The width doesn't matter, but I've just done it as close as I can to the sentiment. And then I'm going to stick it on here. Now the background's looking a little bit boring to me. I mean, you could leave it if you're a clean and simple person. I know there's a lot of people that love the cast style and that could be a very nice clean and simple style. But I'm gonna stamp in the background just subtly I'm going to use some powder pink and I'm going to use our beautiful cake soiree because it just goes so well with it. So what have we got here? I'm going to use the flowers. So I've got this flower here and this flower here. Yeah, I think those two will do. So first I'll come in with my little rose and stamp that sort of just in random spots. You don't have to be too fussy with it all. I usually find when I do stamping like this, I come back later and see where I can fill it in. So once I grab this, then I can see, okay, so these are the spots that, yeah, that's actually not too bad. So I can just come back in now with my little branch, little flower tree thing. So come in here. You've got to be careful with this one. I might even cut it down. If you find that you're sort of getting a little line, a little edge, it's worth, um, oh, I missed you too, Nita. It's worth maybe even looking at cut, like just cutting closer to the stamped image or just being careful when you're inking that you don't sort of rock it. Here we go. Yay! Looking pretty. I mean, I haven't done the middle because I know that's going to be covered. But... Hello! Are you back again? Sorry, it did a reconnection. But it looks like you're back. Ah, Catherine, I'm here! <laughs> at least I know you're all listening then <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is stick this down now most of you that watch my live videos or have in the past know that I love using the liquid adhesive for my card making for those of you that are new to watching me maybe this is the first time you've seen me making cards before the reason why I like the adhesive is it gives me room to move it around especially when we're working in small measurements I find it gives me a little bit of time just to sort of move it around and it doesn't buckle it's a really good glue so I'll also do this one actually I'm going to raise this one just for added interest now I've used the of course we've used all our mini dimensionals so I'm going to just snip these down the edge. Use every single bit. Do not waste anything. Yeah, I did go missing. I don't know what happened with the connection. 
But I'm very excited that while we were away, um, they've connected the NBN. We've just got to get everything sorted and get the account and everything running. So we're very, very excited about that because that will help with the live videos. No more trying to reconnect ever again. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it's as good as they say it's going to be. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited. I think it'll be pretty good internet. So I'm using the edge of my little mini because it's quite a thick edge too. Well, that's the promise, isn't it, Donna, hey? They're saying better internet. I mean, I'd like to believe that it will be. Apparently different cables, copper cables, isn't it? So surely it should be faster. Surely. We've got to pay more, so it better be. <laughs> and then I'll do some on the back here. So I've got it in the oven at the moment. We're catching up with friends again tonight. We've had a few friends come over. We've had dinners. A lot of our friends and family are super excited to have us home. And six months is a long way away from them all. So they've been trying to catch up with us. Tonight we're going to a friend's place and I'm making lechi flan, which they absolutely love in the Philippines. It's it's a Spanish, like a, like a cream caramel. You have NBN, Kerry? Oh, good. And it's amazing. Oh, I love to hear that. I hope it's going to be really, really fast. It'll help the business so much. So I could, if I wanted to, go down a little bit lower and do it sort of off off centre. Um, you know, it depends on where you, where you prefer it. Actually, I might try it here. I like the look of this because the sentiment is so far to the left that I'll bring it down a little bit. That looks good there. So it's not going to be perfectly centered. I could if I wanted to, but I like how this has given more space over here to the side and just given it, yeah, a different border. And what I'll do to finish with, because I think these are the bomb. You must have these on hand at all times. When you see it like halfway, order more basic pearls because they're just so pretty. So I'm going to use one of the big ones. I like using my snips to just grab it. See on the end of my snips here. I grab it, put one down, and then I'll get this medium size. I'll just do a little one there because it's there's a lot of space in here. And then I'll just bring in the third one because I always like working in odds. Um, the eye the eye likes things in odd. So there we go, three beautiful little pearls there. And that is a beautiful card. Now, without forgetting, because I know that you love doing the inside of your card as well, I just want to show you a really quick way of making your card wow on the inside because we can't leave it blank in the middle. That would be like you can't forgive yourself if you do that. So I usually do it um, three centimeters low, so I do it at 14.9. So I'm gonna do 14.6, take that away. 14.6 by, I can hear the doggies scratching on the door. They're like, mommy, let us in. Sorry kitties, doing a live video. Go run outside. <laughs> It looks stunning. Oh, thanks. Yes, please try the memories and more. So 10.2 by uh, 15, what do I do? 15.6 is what I did the inside. And then I'll just do a little bit of stamping because, you know, stamping is good fun. And I'm going to use the same beautiful flowers, but I'm going to use the solid one. It's this one here with the outline. So first I'll do the solid and I'll do it in the same beautiful powder pink, one of our in colors. Yeah, please check out the Memories More cards because we don't use them enough and they're so convenient and they're also super cheap. Like if you wanna do a, a, 
a really easy card in a quick amount of time but still feel like you've had a creative session then this is a winner and then we'll do some of this just to bring in the the front remember this little big edge here too I'll just do one there there we go there's the inside so I've just stamped those little sections there and again use my Tombow liquid glue very thin layer you don't have to go too crazy if you go too thick then you will get the bowing and the buckling but um, yeah I've never had a problem with it when I just use a small amount so that's the beautiful inside Ta -da! so there's three of the cards that I've made now I'll actually show you this one here this is my prototype that I did last night so as you can see it's the same card because it's awesome because you've got two of each of the cards but I've just done the sentiment on the other side and I centered it so you could do either either whatever you want to do but just by mixing it up like that it just makes a bit of a change that's why I thought I'd try something different when I made it. So I had an idea of what I wanted to do. And then the other ones that I had was this one here. And this one as well. And again, beautiful inside. It's good to have it all finished and matching. So I'm going to be sending out those two random act of kindness. Are any of you in the random act of kindness group? because I'll look out for your names on the random act of kindness, those that have come and watched me live, because I'm very appreciative that you came live. And I'm also going to pick one special person to get one of these sweet soiree decorative masks. So I think, where are we here? Donna Gray, you've been commenting a lot. So... Give me your, um, actually, I think I've got your address already. So I'll send you out this as a thank you for watching me live today. Thanks, girls. And Rick. <laughs> if Rick's still there. So, yeah, I know I miss watching, having you all here live and doing the lives too. I really enjoy doing them. Um, and I'll just flip you around. I don't think there's anything extra to show you that I wanted to... Um, give you a heads up I'm, oh yes there is one thing actually so that's a good thing that I'm gonna okay let's see how we go here I'm tightening things everywhere yay Donna okay we're looking good well the camera's looking all right not sure about me <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so good being home it's been real it's seriously such an adventure that I've learned so much from so I'm really happy that we got to go and it's taught me a lot about my business too and just letting go and realizing that you can accomplish a lot even when you do you know go somewhere different and do something challenging other than pushing yourself in a business it was challenging from a different point of view from a quality point of view and patience and just seeing the things that we saw we have a lot more appreciation now that we're back so I'm glad you like the M&M inspiration good I love calling it M&M actually it's very cute memories and more so the other thing that I wanted to point out to you on my last video I was a very naughty girl and I didn't read the fine print which I'm normally good at but I'll blame jet, jet lag actually me it's my fault I didn't read it properly but the new celebration items don't come out until the 16th so you've got 16 more days to get these amazing um, memories of more goodies the other celebration goodies and if you're a demonstrator you can pre-order them now I did think that was a bit funny I'm like why would you pre-order it when you can just purchase things and get it for free Makes sense to me now, but at the time I didn't think logically. But yeah, the 16th, all the new celebration items come out. So keep an eye on that. 
If you're thinking about joining, there's still an amazing special. Uh, we've had 30 new demonstrators join the Crazy Crafters. Yay! In my direct team, there's been five new ones, which I'm very, very happy to invite them to our group. But yeah, overall 30 in our full team. So we're really having a lot of fun, the Crazy Crafters. We've got a blog hop this week, I'm pretty sure, with Alison Okamitsu an incredible, incredible designer from Canada. Um, we've got some amazing hops coming up with Wendy Lee and Janet Wakelin and some really cool inspiration, um, some really cool guests that are coming up. So we're very excited uh, to be hopping together. So if you want, yeah, just to challenge yourself, you don't have to get involved from with the business side of things. A lot of my demonstrators are just hobby demos and yet they've still shared what they love with other people. And they've reaped some really cool rewards because if you recruit during celebration, then as demonstrators, we get cool perks. We get like free product and also get points and all sorts of really cool stuff. So it's worth just sort of trying new things. That's why I joined and that's why I started doing things in my business was to get all my craft room free. <laughs> And look where it led. <laughs> it ended up Bruno being able to quit his job as an architect and help me with the business because I need help. <laughs> so it's very exciting. Yes, we need to organize one for the Aim for Alaska group too. Um, Go for Greece. How funny is that? Aim for Alaska. For the Go for Greece group. Hopefully, hopefully this month or next month, I'll be excited about announcing Greece, getting Greece, which will be so awesome. Um, but we're heading off to Vanuatu. I know it's a tough life being a demonstrator online. You get to take off everywhere, but um, this is actually a holiday. The Philippines was a lot of hard work, fun, but lots and lots of hard work. But Vanuatu will be sipping cocktails on the cruise with Jesse and our friend Meg and Bruno and I. So we're really looking forward to that really yeah someone has to do it i know it's a tough life right and then we've got alaska coming up in july so yeah it's non-stop this year for us this year is just going to go so quick but in between i want to make sure that i do some live videos for you and some crafting videos as well so but i can hear my oven beeping the uh what's it called? Leche Flan is calling my name and saying, please check me and make sure that I'm ready. I'll put a picture up later and show you how it looks. I've got to keep it in the fridge for a few hours before I flip it. And then I'll show you. How does it look, Bruno? Do you want to take it out of the oven? Does it look good? I don't look. Ah, if it looks brown, I'm coming now anyway, so I'll check it. Anyway, lovely to see you all and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for joining me live and congratulations, Donna. I'll send that um, decorative masks out to you and I'll also send some random act of kindness cards too. So speak to you soon. Any questions, please let me know. Bye. <laughs>